good evening my lovely friends and happy Sunday. Today is the 17th of May. For today's video I'm just doing a little bit of evening sewing. For a little while now I've been wanting to get stuck into this little kit that I was given last year. It's this little kit here. It's called a Moda Matchbox Quilt. Essentially it's just a little kit that has some embroidery thread or floss, a little bit of batting, cute little square and then this really lovely little panel. It's this cool little panel that has uh, pre-printed pieces for the block that you just cut out. It's got the backing which is this part here, the binding which is this part here and it just tells you how to sew it all together and you end up having this gorgeous tiny little matchbox quilt. It says it's a six inch finished block so that is six inches it's gonna be that tiny ah oh, so cute so I'm gonna give this a go today I'm not gonna finish it so it might be like a two-parter I'll start it today and finish it tomorrow but I thought I'd just show you how I do it show you the process if you're interested in it apparently there are nine other blocks that you can buy and sort of like put it into a sampler I'm assuming this one is number four series of nine mini quilts I'm super excited to see what it looks like here's a closer up look of the panel so this is what it will look like here are our instructions so first we're going to cut out all of our pieces along the dash line Pieces already include a quarter inch seam allowance, so that's really good. Follow the diagram uh, for sewing assembly, press your seams, and then we're pretty much uh, layering it together like a normal quilt, basting it with the thread that they provided, and then you finish it off with the binding. So there is the sewing assembly, so that's what I'll possibly do tonight, just get the block finished. These are our little pieces that we need to cut out, so I'll be cutting out on all of the dotted lines so that's the white bit the coral and the pink and then like i said that's the backing and then this green strip along the edge is the binding and for those of you who are interested this is what the selvage says okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to press it so that it's nice and flat we don't have any other bumps or lumps or creases in it so it's just going to be nice and easy and then we'll cut I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually done a lot of things made from panels, so this is kind of like a new thing for me. And I'm excited to see how it works out. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put the iron on and we'll get started. Okay, so the panel is all pressed. What I think I'm going to do first is cut out this big binding strip so that's out of the way and then I will cut out all of these little bits ready for piecing. So there we go, all of our pieces have been cut out and I've just popped them all into the block formation as per what step one shows me. So now I just have to piece them all together. I'm going to be honest, I've never sewn these two sort of pieces together so I don't know whether I have to line them against this edge like that. So then when I do my quarter inch seam it should flip over, oh yeah, and that should join up flushly with that edge okay oh yeah all right so that should work so I'll do these sections first and we'll see how they go and then we'll do these triangles together and then put them together into their units wish me luck Thank you. 
Well, they were actually a lot easier to piece together than what I thought they were going to be. Awesome, they look really cool. Okay, I'm going to do the little triangles. There we go, it's coming together a little bit more. It looks so cute. Before I actually piece it all together, I'm actually going to cut off all of these little sort of dog ears here. I call them dog ears, some people call them bunny ears, little triangle things. They're just a waste. These little bits are unneeded and they just add bulk to the seam. So if you just get rid of them, then you'll have a cleaner seam. So all of our units are pieced together and they came together really well. I'm going to again cut off these little triangles on each of the edges and then I will piece this one to that one, this one to that one and then we'll have two rows and then we'll sew it together along the middle. Here's our little block, isn't it adorable? I love it so much. It is the sweetest thing ever, and it was actually really quite easy to put together. A little bit fiddly, but other than that, everything went together really, really well. The last thing that I did on the back, I actually pressed it open, just so it wasn't too bulky or anything like that. The center points all meet just perfectly. I could not get it any more perfect than that, I don't think. So I'd have to say so far, the instructions for this panel are really quite limited. They're very basic, and I think you definitely need to have some sort of knowledge of how to piece together a block if you are going to attempt this little matchbox quilt. I think experience in pressing seams and knowing which way seams should go for then the next step to work out well is also something that you need to know. But other than that, if a non-quilter is attempting this, I think they should be okay, but I'd possibly have like a friend who, who knows some knowledge to be able to help them. So the next step now is to baste this gorgeous little thing with the little batting square that they've provided and then the backing. There we go, so basted, so we've got the backing, the batting in the middle and then the block on top. So tomorrow I might just pop a little bit of basting spray on that uh, so that it won't move. I'm not going to do it tonight because I don't have the window open, all that sort of stuff. And then tomorrow we'll do some quilting. They suggest on here to quilt it using the matchstick quilting technique. Matchstick quilting, vertical rows of evenly spaced quilting resembling matchsticks. And I'm assuming that we're doing it by hand because you can't put this on the sewing machine. I have attempted hand quilting once before in the past. It didn't go down well, didn't last very long. I gave up <laughs> and I just ended up just machine quilting it. So I think we can definitely give it a go on this tiny little thing. Essentially, it's just going to be like a running stitch but all of the stitches are going to be quite close together. So yeah, we will carry on with that tomorrow. And then once I've quilted it, I will put the binding on. This colour is gorgeous and works so well with the quilt. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, well, part one done. Fingers crossed that part two goes just 
as well. I think it should. Let's put the positive vibes out into the universe or whatever it is. What is that thing? PMA. Positive mental attitude. Positivity. We can do it. I'm very excited. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part one of making a little murder matchbox quilt. That is what it's called, right? Matchbox quilt. <laughs> I'm distracted. This is actually quite a really cute little box. I can reuse for something or have as like a little storage box. Cool. Anyway, thank you for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow when we do part two and finish off this lovely little matchbox quilt. I hope you all have a lovely Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!